Okay, good afternoon. It's September 9th, 2023, about 79 degrees at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm going to perform the first inspection on a very late season swarm that I captured 15 days ago out of a tree in the local resident's front yard. They were very docile when I captured them, and so I don't anticipate any big deal from them on this first inspection, but we shall see. They were very good girls when I caught them, as I mentioned. They have been taking one-to-one -one sugar water since day one, and they're at it heartily again today. I'll pop this feeder shim off so that you can hopefully see them. There. There they are. It's a rapid round feeder on the inner cover. And they're really taken to it well. Kind of hate to bother them, really. My wife says I shouldn't, but uh, I think they need to be looked at on the first couple of weeks. So we'll pop the top here. Max has taken well. Give him a little bit of smoke. I can hear them roaring away in there. Oh yeah, looks really good from the top. On a new beak, but uh, just looking down in there, first time I think they look super so we'll have a quick look I'm not going to be in here long shouldn't be anything on this one no. a little bit of collection Has a slight bit of wonky comb on it. These were all brand new foundations. I uh, added some wax to them, but it's starting to be drawn out kind of poorly there. I see them drawing here as well. Not totally on the frame all the way across, but I do see some. Looks like cap tiny to me. I'm out of the frame right now looking for eggs. I don't see any. There won't be any in this one either. that wonky stuff down so we will hopefully straighten it out later
should be getting into the neighborhood of where we might see the pony or bird and eggs, although this is heavy. This is a heavy frame. Top tunnel. Drawing it out well. Ah, uh, sorts of wonky comb on this side. That may be brewed. See that? Wonky comb. They don't like the foundation too much. Looking for eggs again. Comb is so white, I really can't tell. But those look to me to be capped brood there. So I'm going to say the queen's in here doing her thing. I don't see her, but that don't mean she's not in here. Oh, they've been busy. Super busy. Being very calm, even though I am messing up the little show here quite a bit. Another very heavy frame. That may be weird. That might be brood all the way around there. So this queen is doing her thing, I would say. That to me looks like a very nice laying pattern. Let's see if I can't get this down on the foundation. Time to clean it up. Well, that's good looking. I think that's a good looking frame. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's a laying fool. Lots and lots of brood on that frame. I see brood. I see cap brood. She's laying. We got a good queen here. Trying to see if I can see her real quick. I don't. We're looking for him. This was not quite as heavy as the last one. No wonky kind. Just starting to draw on that side. It's a bundle of bees here. I wonder if that's her. See a bundle of bees there. She might be in that bunch. Not a wonky comb, loose and brood already and cap brood. So I'm gonna leave that alone. Looks good. Hurting my 
back. Starting to draw this one with a starter strip. I like to see that. I left the starter strip frame in here. I'm drawing on it well. That's cool. Starting to draw it on this frame, but I don't think they like it very much. There's a ball of bees there. Maybe I'm just scaring them over onto these outer frames, I'm not sure. But uh, I think they look good, guys. I think they look real good. Look how calm they've been. Me in here. Another starter strip frame that they're hanging on. Haven't started drawing it yet, but they're hanging on it. Maybe they will. Lots of them on that outer wall. Okay. I like what I see. Push them back across. Get them all tight. Drop this first frame back in there. Go back to work, girls. I'll stay out of here for another another few weeks. I'll stay out of here and leave you alone. You keep you're doing just fine. Just fine. Super job. A little bit of smoke, get them back down so I can put the inner cover back on. Mm -hmm. I like what I see. I like what I see. I'll add a little more sugar water to that. While I'm here, we've been drinking about half of what this feeder can hold a day. It's warm. It's had been, like I mentioned, 79 degrees this afternoon when I'm performing this inspection. Maybe in the 80s this weekend in this part of Southern Riverside County. Look at that girl. Put the feeder shim back on. And we're good to go. Nice, nice, nice. I'm happy with what I see. That upper entrance off. Everything's lined up well. Put the top on. And we're all good. So that'll do it for this inspection. I took it very well. Nobody attacked me, nobody bumped me. They didn't get riled up even when I was treating them poorly in there, mashing down some of that wonky comb. But it's all good. All right? Cool. See you next time. Thanks.